welcome to another recording. In this tutorial we're going to go through how to create an IES photometric data file. Now this render that's just popped up on screen is one that's been created via the Maxwell SketchUp plugin. The light is being emitted from these three planes. We've got a back fill and then two front planes that are emitting light to fill in the gaps that the backlight creates. So we can see the material that's been applied is a forward facing light. Obviously, if they flip the other way, light is going to be emitted the wrong way and not shown on the object. This is the object we're going to be working with and lighting. So to get us started, open up the scene manager and you can see the characteristic of the light bulb 2 is set to emitter. But we want to change that to an IES emitter. And what it will do is ask us to open up a file with all the photometric data. Very often you get this from light manufacturers. In this case, what you can do is use a light meter to measure how the light is dissipating as it goes from the light bulb down. Now this, or the IES file, was created in a free program. What's being shown here is a light in the middle of that black square over to our right. And it's creating those beams of light because basically that graph is replicating its behavior. Just simply left click and drag down. Obviously you'd have to get all the data from the light meter and interpolate it accordingly. But let's say for example this is the light that we're wanting to create. Once we've done that you can save the file and for now we'll just save it to the desktop. In another free program which allows you to view the IES file we just right click and refresh and all the data appears. So there we can see the fall off of light from the center of the light outwards as if it were in an actual room along with all the data. If you also click the render button it also shows you how that light is actually reacting, how it's being interpreted. So now, back into SketchUp, we want to change the emitter to an IES emitter. So simply click open, click the light emit file, which is just what we named it. And then when we hit render, we will start to see that light taking effect. Now, just to prepare you, it's not a great light, but still it illustrates the point that we're getting at. As you can see, the render settings are set at 5 sample levels and 5 threads, which isn't great, but still it illustrates what we're getting at. Thanks for watching.